everybody, in this video I'm going to be using the 5x7 rectangle wiper card die set with the Funky Flowers set. I'm going to be using these ones here, they're really nice along with this little kind of sprig here as well. And you've got the dies there for the flowers which were combined as well. So I've gone ahead and die cut all the bits that we need because I want to focus on some stamping with this one and obviously you know the mechanism when we put that together. I'm going to be using the speech bubbles as well on that one but I've gone ahead and just die cut two of the main dies here using that lovely purple colour here. Okay so that's those done and then I've die cut some holographic cardstock in the matte layer there and then I've cut this piece myself which is four and a half by six and a half and this is the one that I'm going to stamp onto and then we can create our side pieces in a moment. So what I want to do is I want to create my own kind of patterned paper really so I'm just going to grab a bit of copy paper just so I don't stamp through. So I'm just going to grab that stamp set and I want to use the large one there, mine are very well used. I've been creating a lot of cards, yours will be much, much cleaner than my ones here. So I've got those there, and I'm just going to grab one of my stamping blocks. Let's just do this one, and we'll pop that one on the small one, and then I've got that one there for the small, tiny one. I also need my sentiment because that's the one I actually want to start with first of all. So I'm using this one. Sometimes you just have to stop and smell the flowers. So I'm going to ink this one up and I'm going to stamp it down towards the bottom right hand side there. Make sure you've got a soft surface. I'm using this self healing mat here so it's quite good for stamping on like so. Okay, so it's got a really nice yeah, sentiment there. And then I'm going to start building up my flowers around that sentiment. So I'm going to bring this one down here. Now I'm not actually going to colour these ones. I'm going to stamp and colour another set. This is almost going to be like a bit of a, a shadow behind. So I'm going to have that one there and then let's have a main one right there. And you want to, you know, have some of them coming off the side. It looks really nice that way. Okay, so I'm really pleased with that. That looks lovely. And then with this small one here, you're going to have it just kind of coming out, filling the gaps really. So we'll have that one up there. I think if I take it away from that white, I think I'm happy with that one. So we'll leave it at that. And just pop all those over there. So we've got now we've got this. You next want to go ahead and stamp and colour the same amount that you have. So I've got one, two, three, four of the large ones, so stamp and colour those, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of the smaller flowers, and you want to stamp and colour those. And I've already got these here that I've prepared earlier, and I've actually added glitter into the centres of the flowers, which I think looks really nice. And I'm going to do that with a couple more in a moment. Let's just bring in these ones here. And I think I'm going to have that one and that one, which we can pop some glitter on too. So I can just show you how I've done that. But I think I've got lots and lots of flowers, but there you have, you know, um, that's how they all look. So what you want to do now, because you can add the glitter at the end, you don't need to do that now. You can get them all stuck down and in place. So I'm just going to grab some foam and I'm going to just decide which one I want to be the main kind of flower, maybe for the yellow or do I want to go for this one maybe I'll do that one just there so I'm going to pop my foam in the back there and then I'm just going to stick that right over that same image okay and then I'm going to bring this one down here and again pop my foam down and we're going to trim all of this off in a moment so right now you're just kind of piecing everything you know back over again where you know with the image underneath so that one there and I don't want my colours, obviously, in terms of the large ones, I don't want them close together. So I'll do this one just there. And I'm just going to continue that. So you're just going to watch me now get all of that covered. Okay, so I've stuck all of those down then I'm also just going to add some green to the leaves there just to bring in another colour. I'm 
Okay, and next we just want to flip it over. It's always easier to cut if you flip something over. So I'm now going to just trim. Got a little bit of the foam on that one, but it's okay. Just all the way around. And this way you get a really nice finish, like so. Okay, and now I just need to fill in those gaps on the centres of the flowers, or the, not the gaps, the just to fill the centre of the flowers. So I'm just going to add some glue onto all of these. Again, you don't have to do this, they look nice as they are, but I've kind of got a little bit obsessed with using the glitter in the centre. I think it sets them off really nicely. So I'll just do that one there. Grab some copy paper, and then I've just got some glitter here. And I'm just going to just dump a little bit in the centre of each one. But again, you can heat emboss the whole flowers, which would look lovely. Just tap off all the excess there. Now you've got those beautiful stamped flowers. I think they look lovely with that silver. So I'm just going to tidy all this mess away and now we can start putting the card together. Okay, so you just want to fold and burnish all of your score lines. So mountain and a valley. So mountain and a valley. So you should have two pieces that look like this. Okay, now there are, you can see the markings. I don't know how well this is going to show up to you because we didn't want them to be that noticeable. So you do have to look for them, but there are these tiny little kind of just markings in the, the card here. And that's just to give you a rough guide to where to stick it down. But as I'm showing you through the videos today, you know, it does also depend on what it is that you're going to be sticking onto the top. But it was just to give you a little bit of a guide, you know, just so that you, as a reminder really maybe, if you put this away and then pull them out maybe months later and you're kind of wondering how did I put it together, those little markings will show you. So what we do is we'll stick this one all together and this time I'm going to put the mechanism, stick it in when it's all together. I'm just again trying to give you different ways to do this. So you want to add your glue onto this one here, for example. So each video will have a, a slightly different construction because that way, you know, you've just got tons of, tons of ideas really and you can find the one that suits you better. And then this just sticks over the top, like so. And then I'm gonna flip it over, you can just fold that back and then add glue onto this one here. And then I'm just going to fold that one down and bring this one over. Just make sure everything lines up so you should have a nice five by seven card blank. Okay, so now we've got our card ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this one on the front and then stick that one down there. Okay, and that was using that matte die there, you can see. Now I'm just gonna go and cut these two here in holographic cardstock. Okay, so we've got the same there. And I'm also gonna die cut this one using some acetate because I'm gonna be using a speech bubble popping out of this one. Okay, so I've die cut my mechanism using some acetate. Again, you just wanna make sure that you've got, um, you know, just a strong sandwich kind of order and a metal shim will help a lot and that will cut through your acetate for you. And I've also gone ahead and done this piece because I forgot to mention this when I was doing it, but you would also want a piece of two by four and a half, stamp it the same way that you've done this and then just cut it in half so you've got two pieces and these will go on the sides there. So I've just gone ahead and done that one. So now I just want to do my pop out piece. So I've got my sentiment here, which is have a blooming marvellous birthday. So I think that works really well. So I'm just going to stamp it just there because I've got a big piece of scrap here and then I can bring in my larger speech bubble from the set, like so, and I'm just going to run that through my die machine. Okay, so that's that one done. And then with your mechanism, make sure you've got the triangle in the bottom left hand corner. And I'm just using some of my red tape here. I'm just going to cover that bottom corner. Okay, like so, and I'm just going to peel that off and just trim off the excess there. Obviously you can do it, you know, with a lot more time, but you get the idea, you just want to cover that corner. And then also before we stick that down, I'm going to run a 
just strip a bit along the top there and then I can attach my speech bubble and it will be the exact, the, the widest point of the speech bubble will be the exact width of the mechanism part there so it's a good way to know that you've got it bang on. So you can see now the tops there completely you know, match up with that there. Now you could also put a little bit of red tape underneath there but it'd probably be okay, I'm, I wouldn't have thought this one's going to catch. And then what we can do is grab our card and we can just, you're sticking it behind the second panel, it's always behind the second panel. So I'm going to slide this in and I can see just how high up. So I think there is going to be just fine and then I can just flatten that on top so it sticks to the tape and now when you close the card I should have burnished it, I always forget to burnish the um, acetate but just burnish the triangle but you can do it when it's in there but now look how nice that looks when it pops out so I'm just going to close that up stop the uh, glare on my camera from the crazy holographic card and I'm just going to run a few strips of my foam along here I almost stuck it upside down as I was saying don't stick it upside down but now that's that one stuck down and then all I need to do is just I'm going to use some of my just my thicker double-sided tape to attach these pieces and the back ones there as well also another nice touch is if you just die cut another one of these and pop it on the back not only could you stamp another little secret message on here, but it just tidies up that acetate. Now if I flip it over, you've got a really fun wiper card. I think they look so cool. I love all the sparkle on those flowers. So that's just another idea on how to use the 5x7 and using the lovely funky flower stamp set.